Hi, this is Ned from Milrose, Massachusetts, and I'd like to know if there's any way to prevent Alzheimer's. Ned, yeah, that's an excellent question that's certainly on the minds of many of us as we grow older. It's also a question under intense research right now, and unfortunately we do not know exactly why some people develop Alzheimer's disease and others don't. But we do know many things about risk factors, and if we can reduce some of those risk factors, we believe we can reduce Alzheimer's disease. Some of those risk factors include the very same cardiovascular risk factors that cause strokes and heart attacks. So it's very important to avoid smoking, to treat hypertension, and treat high cholesterol, also to prevent obesity and diabetes. We know that these tend to reduce the risk of Alzheimer's disease. Also, there's a very important um, behavior, and that is use it or lose it. We know that high education, that is using your mind to educate yourself, can help prevent the onset of Alzheimer's disease. And we also know that exercise, both mental and physical exercises, can prevent dementia or memory loss in late life. So be sure to exercise your brain, participate in educational activities, and also physical activity uh, on a daily basis to try to prevent this from occurring. Hi, my name is Deborah. I'm from Boston. What's the most important thing I can do to stay healthy as I age? Well, Deborah, thank you for your question. There are many, many things that people can do to stay healthy as they age. Um, these include, uh, first of all, good nutrition, making sure that you eat plenty of fruits and vegetables, and avoid saturated fats and trans fats, which of course can cause cardiovascular diseases. It's also important to minimize the risk factors for heart disease and stroke. That means avoiding smoking, treating high blood pressure, treating high cholesterol, and avoiding becoming overweight and developing diabetes. We also know that social engagement is a way of maintaining health. And it doesn't really matter what that engagement is, whether it's going to church services, participating in activities with friends, all of these things are very helpful in maintaining healthy um, aging. And finally, perhaps the most important thing you can do is exercise. That is exercise both your body and your mind. Remain mentally active and physically active, engaging in exercises every day. These can be quite simple, uh, from taking a walk, climbing stairs, or actually going to a gym to exercise. Hi, my name is Tom Moriarty. I'm from Buffalo, New York, and my question is, how often should seniors exercise? Tom, thank you for your question. Um, it is very important to exercise every day. Uh, research has shown that those individuals that engage in a daily exercise program uh, actually do live longer and avoid heart disease, stroke, diabetes, and other diseases that may occur in aging. Uh, but that exercise does not have to be an intensive going to a gym. It can involve 20 to 30 minutes of walking, climbing stairs, or just participating in regular activities. In fact, a way to get your exercise in is to park a little bit further away each day so that you walk to the mall or walk to your work workplace rather than um, park so closely that you avoid walking. Uh, taking the stairs instead of elevators and making sure that you carry the garbage out or laundry or other things to try to maintain the strength of your arms and legs. So in answer to your question, I'd strongly recommend daily exercise, 20 to 30 minutes, and it should be enough to draw a little bit of a sweat every day.